Hello, everybody, and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will, I'm not your Dungeon Master, but I am your host for tonight as we play the finale of Sins of the Last Council, the very last episode in this series. It's incredibly exciting. I have with me Josh and Cord, but I do not have with me Mike because he's dead. Um, he is <laughs> dead. We killed him. He is, um, he is into the void with him. Uh, but uh, the two of us are here, along with Josh as a GM. So, how are you guys doing? How are you, Cord? I'm doing well. Uh, let me know if my mic's a little low. It seems like it is, but let me know, chat, if it is a little low. I'm doing well. Uh, did a lot of uh, overlay stuff for next week, uh, for next season. Yeah. Pretty pumped, pretty hyped, uh, as well you all should be. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. Yes, but I'm, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Will's cool. got his uh, green screen working today. Which I know, is yeah. Pretty Ooh. sick. I brought a new light, and I was just messing with it, and I've just burnt my finger on it because it's running so hot. Nice. Good. Um, Don't Josh. The wall. <laughs> yeah, oh god, it's on fire. Uh, <laughs> Josh, how are you, sir? I did I did that once. I was on stream, and uh, Beth messaged me on on Skype, just saying, I smell burning, and I realized the lamp I'd set up, something had fallen on it. I think it was a glove or something, and it just <laughs> melted the glove. I was like, oh, oh. shit. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Finale week hype. Uh, I'm on board the hype train, choo-choo and all that. I'm very excited. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to get stuck in. Um, once again, yeah, unfortunately, Michael can't be with us tonight, um, being dead and all, but uh, our yeah. thoughts are with him and his family. His family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as we uh, as we make our way into the finale of Sins of the Last Council. So guys, yeah. first of all, Will, how are you? Because no one asked. I no one ever asks. No, no, everyone, <laughs> asks every day. everyone, everyone asked. It's first. true, yeah, everyone asks. Usually. How are They're you, Will? Good. I'm fine. Thank you so much for asking, guys. It's so nice oh, that someone cares. Last <laughs> yeah, no, it's going good. I'm excited. Um, I guess we should go around and remind ourselves who we are playing yeah, today. I don't even know so, who I'm playing. I don't even know who I am. What is uh, well, this? <laughs> tonight I am playing Jackal, the Wasteland Glaive, who hunts the supernatural. He is a, uh, a Russian badass, and he's here to take names and also run away from a T Rex, which we'll get into shortly. Um, yeah. I, I have to say, your intro there, I really want you to say, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... <laughs> Jekyll. <laughs> um, cool, who are you playing, son? I'm playing uh, Alric Weissam, a uh, charming jack who rides the lightning. I forgot what my thing was. <laughs> yeah, I ride the lightning. Uh, I'm a ex-military guy, who uh, prisoner of war, who has been tortured, left for dead, but actually the electric chair... Uh, still courses through his veins, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. Keeps his uh, super cool. Uh, keeps it's crazy cool. cool. Crazy cool, guys. Uh, but yes, before we get into tonight's session, I remind you guys it's finale week, so every one of our shows this week is going to be the last one uh, of this season. So be sure to catch them this week. If you haven't caught any of the others, then these will be especially climactic and exciting episodes. And of course, super on dramatic. Saturday, super dramatic. Uh, on Saturday, we've got our twenty-four hour D and D stream. It's our sixth one. Um, so do join us all day on Saturday. The schedule's just gone up on Twitter. Um, so. Be sure to check that out. Uh, of course, if you haven't followed already, get following. We will have a viewer decision at just 20, under 20 followers now. So it's very yeah. possible it could happen tonight or will definitely happen this week. So if you haven't already had a follow button, and do, of course, we do have a tweet viewer decision, which is possible as well. At 20 retweets, uh, we can have a viewer decision here. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And of course, if you're not a patron, check that out. Two more patrons. And a view decision happens. So we can have three tonight, it's incredible. So, Josh, I'll stop talking and let you talk. No. Okay. No, I'll keep talking. Talk. <laughs> Just keep talking. You, by all means. Okay, so uh, should we have a quick recap of see, see what we remember of last yeah. uh, episode? Um, yeah. It's nothing, probably. I, I very much. I remember do. dinosaurs. You remember di That's dinosaurs? All I, need to I remember a werewolf. If you say it's plural, it's plural. There are not <laughs> there were any more, dinosaurs. Yeah. There were seven. Um, yes, we His were... His retweets are ready. Holy crap. Good job, guys. Hey. Keep those going. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, oh, yeah, we were sorry. in an... Rudely interrupted. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were in an underground facility we found ourselves in. Well, first of all, we're actually we're in a house of two random idiots who were, like, part of some gang. 
or something, and there was a guy called Victor, and they thought I was Victor because I was Russian. Oh, Racist. Yeah. Uh, and then Victor we ended up... Vlad. No, Vlad. Victor. Vlad, it was Vlad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Victor, Victor was Trevor. Was... Yeah. Victor's Trevor. Yeah. Victor um, is no more, is what he is. Victor, Victor is killed by the end. <laughs> um, so we went to uh, underground. They're trying to get into like this facility, and so we broke in there after killing them, and we found this kind of ancient kind of weird place where people laminated and dead to, on the floor. Mm. Um, we saw a robot in there. We followed it into these different sections, which we were told to go into. Um, I was meant to be in section sector one or sector two. Sector one. two. Yeah. I was in sector two. Mike and Cord were in sector one. Uh, they went in there. I went in a different place. Weird things happened to us. I you were attacked by a werewolf. I was attacked by a werewolf. They were attacked by a T Rex. I think I get it. I think I got off pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> and then we started running because there was a giant T Rex, which then killed the werewolf. Indeed. And at this point, we got to the lift, I think, and it wasn't there. Indeed. It was no longer there. Indeed. Ah, uh, so yeah, we uh, yeah, that's that's a pretty pretty good description. Also, there was um, Arcturus was uh, put on a on a medical that's auto right. dock and found out that he'd uh, had his insides, some of his insides had been removed. Yeah, yep, yep. and uh, they it was all repaired oh, by this auto surgeon. And um, Cord, uh, you you stumbled upon Oryx stumbled upon the morgue and found. Uh, Chaos, blood, guts, and uh, some lots of dead people, and um, yeah, yeah, it's it's good. something about misjudge, mistrust. mistrust. Oh yes, mistrust. Yeah. yes, you yeah, both... dead mistrust people around. They were like the rebel uh, terrorist organization, which we were trying to, f- we were involved originally... with ages ago. <laughs> at the beginning. Yes, originally, you were you were hired to find out what they were doing, and since then you. You've, we did. We we haven't been. We've <laughs> fucked up. You've, you've specifically not done that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um. So yeah. Uh. We 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 actually pick up Ulrich. You are um. You're lagging ever so slightly. I don't know if you guys. I've made a rudimentary quick map yeah, just to show. you. ping. It's a terrible thing. Yeah. I'm doing this on a laptop with a touchpad on a thing. No, no, that was awful not ping, not awful thing. No, no, no. This is oh. great. <laughs> I'm having bad amazing. ping. That's why I'm lagging. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. So you guys are headed towards. So um, Arcturus, you were out. Uh, Arcturus, you being not here, is out ahead, uh, and he's just walked into sort of the the big, large cavernous space where there was an elevator before, and there is now no longer an elevator. There's a whole set into the ceiling where the elevator, obviously looks like it's it's come up from and the floor still has the uh white tiles around the edge but um there's nothing here and uh Ulrich you're lagging behind you're still in the bend in the corridor and Jekyll you're sort of between the two mm-hmm. having just been informed well just informing yourself as you see quite clearly the absence of a lift how, and Ulrich, how far is this T-Rex from annihilation um it's so the T-Rex is sort of having a little bit of trouble coming through the lobby area. Uh, it's not... <laughs> they can't get not, past security these days. <laughs> the secretary's they're, they're like, do you have a pass? <laughs> they're, tr- they're trying to check his hand, handbag. And, you know, they're like, spread your arms. He's like, I have spread my arms. Touch your toes. <laughs> okay, can't. Um, I'll cough. Indeed. So, uh, <laughs> so it's it's trying to navigate its way through like the lobby area and they are they are struggling it's struggling to get towards you but i mean um it's we, it's, managed to get its, it's managed to get its nose in and it's sort of like head butted ulrich and he's managed to slide the length of this corridor and you've just impact. been head butted by a t-rex and you power slid down yep that's the most right badass motherfucker. <laughs> safe uh are we just blue dot yeah, uh, okay, so that's cool. where Jackal is, and specifically, um, Arcturus has made it into the main lift area here. Ulrich, you are kind of, you've just hit this wall here, and T Rex okay. is is just chilling in the lobby area, right about here. All right, and then we also we heard over the intercoms that security has arrived. Yeah, so yeah. this Vlad, who supposedly, but we like, thought he might be dead. Jackal, Jackal was like, yeah, yeah no, no, I'll, I'll pretend to be Vlad. Um, yeah, which was Russian, easy because you're not you're Russian. I'm, I'm Slavic. I'm and they're Wastelander, really. And, um, Soviet yeah, Wastelander. They, uh, they essentially, the security announcement was that security has arrived. Um, and it, it, 
it said something along the lines of, uh, like, a, your head of security today is Vlad. And then, like a, like a little ding-dong, just to announce that for you, uh, very helpfully. Um, so, yeah. Ulrich, we're going to start with you, buddy. Uh, this, is, this is a T-Rex. It's looking at you down the corridor. It's looking hungrily at you down the corridor. Ooh. Can okay. it see? That's a question. Can it? Because t well, it, we know that T Rex is. If I start moving, yeah. That's it. But we have no. Our character has no fucking clue. Mm. So and Matt, we probably do think it's looking at us. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Uh, okay, so, so this thing no is lift. looking at us and it's hungry. <laughs> I mean, we like trapped roll, in this corridor. Roll me, roll me an intelligence to tell me exactly how the T Rex is feeling today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is pretty tough. It's tough inside, Jay. Right. I, I got a, I got a success. You're in touch. Good animal handler. Thank you. Uh, I'm super in touch with who I am. Uh, I'm going to. Crazy oh, my. I don't know if I want to use a crossbow or if I just want to zap it, but I guess I sh probably should. So the I main lift is right like here, a... right? Well, there's no lift. It's not there. Yeah, but Ulrich, Ulrich hasn't realized. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone's yeah. yelled it out. I probably yelled, like, there's no lift! <laughs> As I so go now we're, it's a dead end. Uh, oh, yeah, you are pinned. Like, uh, me, Will, as a person, has no idea if you could kill a T-Rex. Like, how okay. easy it would be to kill... Well, I guess not. Uh, how easy would it be to kill a T-Rex? Like, it's it's like convenient. Tank. The characters <laughs> also don't know. So True, yeah. Is... Jekyll, you, you go stay right... I kind of gesture him to like move towards this wall right here on the mm. map. See, thing. I uh, like go so hang out over I'm there. Like flush against the wall. Yeah. yeah, and then you just hang out there, and I'm gonna distract the shit out of this thing. And th is the the door open? Is the the uh, the elevator Which shaft door? open? No, there, there's so essentially there's a hole in the ceiling. Uh, you can there's no doorway uh, here. It's just okay. where. Uh, it's just where the sort of I'm drawing it with boxes as my only yeah. thing. So, uh, so there's a hole yeah, in the ceiling. But like, which so, is about four meters off the ground. So there's no drop. No, not really. The fuck. There's that. There's that. You are on the ground floor essentially. So there's no like a hole in the floor where it continues downwards. So it's it's not as if like the lift yeah. has disappeared from existence. It's like the lift is up yeah, there. Up. It's being yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, it's yeah. not. It's being called down now. You don't know? I, okay. I hit it. I'm gonna call <laughs> it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to call it's it. Like, it's like a, a display, and uh, it basically just says, uh, "Full car on way." Oh great. Full good. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, <laughs> thank you so much, son of a jock, sir. Thank you so much for mm. the follow, my friend. Welcome. Okay. You are a gentleman and a scholar, uh, guys. We have twenty-eight more. Uh, no, eight, uh, eighteen. Mm, yep, that's how that's how magic that's how math works. Uh, <laughs> that's how magic. 18, that's how magic <laughs> that's, works, everyone. That's what uh, math is to you. It's magic. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I hate it. Um, so, mathematic, mathematic. It's all magic to me. So uh, I'm gonna try to. So we're gonna try to call it, uh, and then can I somehow? I'm gonna still tell you to like go over there, and I'm gonna try to distract him. But I want to okay. open up the doors. Or is there no doors? It's just coming down. There's no doors. Oh, there's it's no just doors. it's just come. No, no, no. It's it's literally it it essentially. It's an empty shaft. We're at the bottom yeah, of the shaft. It's an em yeah, yeah. Empty shaft. Awesome. So it's no like um. It just essentially landed in place, almost like a shuttle, sort of like it, yeah, yeah, it yeah. comes. But there's no like it doesn't travel. It doesn't seem to travel through a tube. Um, <laughs> it's number one. It's yeah. number one. Uh, thank you like, so like, yeah. much, Neo Shade seventy five. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Welcome and enjoy your stay, guys. At seventeen more until viewer decision. Oh my Ooh. god, hype! Uh, so, uh, by the way, shout out to Wolfman for for its number one. I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we we love number one. Let's spin the ball. <laughs> Where? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Sorry, I was spinning. If, I was if Will had just like, if Will had rotated, rotate it, 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 it'd been Mitch <laughs> on the other side. Just like, what? I'm not. I'm not streaming tonight. And then it just continued around. And Will was like, so anyway. That's the I spin, and it's it's spin bar. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm going to yeah, still tell you to move over there, and then I'm going to be like, uh, I'm going to shoot a crossbow at it. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to probably try to like. Uh, 
Actually, yeah, I'm gonna shoot a crossbow at it and like try to scream and try to distract it. I want him cool. to charge me. You want it to charge you? Yeah. Cool. I'm not um, done with you yet, you headbutt me. Why don't you try to <coughs> eat me, you Roll chicken, me you oversized chicken. Roll me roll me a shot with uh like a, a speed. Oh, burn. Got him. <laughs> you if, got him. Man. E. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, what am I making? If, Speed. Difficulty two, speed check to to shoot this thing. You know that, it uh, takes up the entirety of the corridor, like it's yeah. plugged the end of the corridor essentially. But <laughs> you can really still shoot for its legs. Uh, the main yeah. weakness of the T Rex is the mild burn. <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, seventeen, the perfect number. That is a success because on the if you guys are just following along and have no idea how this system works, right below the face thing uh, here on the overlay, we have the. Um, the breakdown of what the difficulty and the DC are. Uh, in parentheses, the difficulty on the dice that we need to get. Uh, so that was a difficulty too. Uh, I rolled a 17, so obviously that's a success because I need to roll above a 6. So yeah, uh, that is a success. I hit it. Uh, cool. You were uh, on a 17. I'm going to say you managed to hit it in the knee. Good. And uh, oddly... Took an arrow to the knee. It yeah, it takes it takes an arrow I to the knee. T Rex like you, <laughs> and 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 it it screams. But it, it no no no, it's not like that. It screams no. and then it and then it basically just goes, fuck, ah, and then like it, with its claw, it like tries to reach down oh, and what? it can't reach down to the um to where the, this arrow is. Like embedded, or this, this crossbow bolt has embedded itself in the knee, and it it realizes with its with its tiny little arms, it can't pull the arrow out, and it looks up and is just like, "You're dead!" And then it just taking to, like, taking bets that this is Trevor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trevor X. Trevor T Rex. X. So yeah, uh, I'm going to Trevor Soros Rex. There we go. I'm going to uh, still hopefully have him hang out over there and try to get him to charge me. You let me know when he's close enough for me to do anything. Because I want him to get into the lift. I want him to, like, go... I want the lift to, like, you know, land on him. Uh. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I see, I see. So, um, you, uh... Yeah, you basically have this thing's attention and it's charging towards you now. Yeah. Um, what's the... Are you just going to take it? No, I can teleport. On the tin? I can teleport behind him. Fantastic. Yeah, so uh, like okay. as it's charging, I'm going to mark a spot like between its legs. It's running towards me, and I'm going to, as uh, with, uh, I'm going to ride the lightning. Lightning happens and strikes the other end of the, the hallway, uh, and I appear over there. But I burn cool. a bunch of, uh, I burn, I think, four intel for that. Cool. Guys, roll me, before you do that, roll me a... Uh, this will be initiative. Um, we're gonna st we're just gonna start this off difficulty free because you guys are definitely it's charging you, but I mean you've got a moment to. This is quite easy to sort of get on top of this. Yeah. Um, What's the uh, the DC on this one? Uh, difficulty free. Free with training and initiative on two. Indeed. Eighteen. Success. I go after he does. So that's good. <laughs> that's not what Ooh. I wanted to happen. It's uh, right. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, Ulrich, make me make me a speed defense check. Um, this is this is gonna be difficulty. It's gonna be a difficulty three because on like uh, to get at you at the moment, mm -hmm. it's quite difficult because it's in it's this huge creature and it's in a confined space. But it's idea. coming it, as it runs towards you. It almost sort of limps and it's just swearing at you like you in, in common. All right, could I? Uh... Yeah, it's a God fucking damn it, George! I yeah. um, I'm so confused. Uh, I'm gonna spend an effort and reduce it down to two. Cool. Uh, seven, which is a success. Oh. Success, thank God. <laughs> just barely. You you manage to teleport just before this thing, like it basically oh. swipes down yeah. at you. It's essentially impacted the wall and like tried to swipe at you and like. Its claws tear through the uh, the stainless steel metal of the corridor, rips up a chunk, and there's like a ban uh, like a banister that runs around the edge, and that is flung to one side down the corridor, uh, towards like where Arcturus is is cool. standing, and it skitters is to a he, hole. Is he underneath the lift? 
Because that's what I wanted. I uh, wanted to have course. him run towards me, teleport, and have him end up underneath the lift. Oh no, no, he's he's now here. You've you've got him to here now. Oh no, he's I was waiting egg. here. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, and okay. I told, so, and I told uh, Jekyll to hang out here, so he, when he takes that turn, he could just, and then when I shoot him, he charges, charges me. Right, and okay. I, um, and then end up in that corner. Sorry about that. So cool. cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, um, in which case, though, Jekyll, if you're hanging out in that corner, sure. you are going to have to make a speed defense check to see if this thing doesn't smash you to pieces as like it dodge runs it past. as it's trying to wiggle its yeah. way around. Sure. Um, but then again, it's in it's on the corner of a corridor, so this is going to be okay, uh, like, speed defense-wise. So I'm going to say difficulty... Uh, Difficulty three. Cool. I have. I'm trained in jumping. Can I say this is a big old jump that I'm making? Like a whoa. <laughs> diving uh, through its ar armpit. It's tiny little armpit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. <laughs> I'm gonna say probably not because the only way you're gonna get round this I'm thing is jumping. beneath it. So. Okay. Twenty. Not twenty. You uh, get, yeah. front flip over this thing. You. <laughs> In fact, on that, I'm going to say you get an attack of opportunity on its on one of his legs. Um, so, uh, what nice. gun? What gun would Jackal have drawn at the moment? Uh, I think I'm a shotgun down, so probably just like my pistols. Cool. Um, right. So you essentially make me make me. Uh, in fact, don't even make me a shot. I'm just going to say th this thing. Uh, you manage to like as you like go past. You like play. Full Laura Croft on <laughs> You like you like you like power slide through its legs and like shoot it in both yep. the knees Someone as you like slide, slide through. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, you get a you get an uncomfortably close view of its donger as you slide mm. underneath it. And uh, how big is a T Rex donger? Seventeen elephants. Seventeen elephants. Fuck. <laughs> Strong. It's it's all like Same. It's, it's in the corridor, <laughs> but its donger is already in the like the lift shaft. Mm, it's, always it's good. painful. Um, <laughs> yeah, indeed. So yeah, this thing, uh, two shafts in one. This, indeed. So <laughs> this thing, uh, Arcturus looks terrified. Uh, so this thing like comes f uh, flooring it around the corner, uh, yells out in agony, but doesn't seem to realise that you know you've gone through its legs. So it, j it just keeps focusing, and as it starts like moving forward. It's going to get to about halfway down the corridor, and um, as you teleport behind him, uh, Ulrich, like, it swipes at you, and Arcturus is left in this main, sort of, the the, the elevator area, just like, oh, oh shit, because I don't think Arcturus has actually seen the T-Rex by this point, because he was... Ulrich, you were the one who was the slowpoke. He was just fucking running. He thinks yeah. he's running from a werewolf still, and it's oh, just yeah. like... Oh shit! And uh, and then there's the T Rex stops, and it stops, unfortunately, just before it would be underneath where the elevator is coming down. I'm gonna uh, piston kick it into the elevator. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and uh, it says it actually speaks to Arcturus, and says, uh, "Does he speak Draconic?" No. It's yeah. speaking in common. You can all understand him. Yeah, yeah. He says, Ar Arcturus, they sent you to kill me. After they kidnap you, hollow you out, and use you like a mule, you side with Black Sky over your friend. It's... It, it's me. It's, it's Harry. And Arcturus just looks, like, utterly blankly at this thing. And at that point... The T Rex essentially seems to start to melt, like from top right down, and like skin seems to like start peeling off, and there's like a real incredible Hulk sort of like slow motion nasty remap model until there's like a blob on the floor, and from this blob rises up uh, a human, entirely naked, um, and uh, bleeding quite profusely. Uh, and barely able to stand at this point, and he like slumps to his knees and he just says, "How could you do this to me?" Is there a crossbow bolt in his knee? There, there actually isn't, but there is a hole in both. There, he's his knees are quite the the bolt like falls to the floor as yeah. he reforms and like, but at the same time like he's quite clearly injured. Yeah, and uh, 
and he turns back to you, uh, you guys, and just says, uh, "Am I like guns drawn on?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm like Is sweating that... and like, <laughs> and I just load the crossbow and just look down the sights. Yeah, still not this saying anything. Is, uh... I was with Arcturus when they, when they snatched us. We we're at the clubhouse together, and they spiked our drinks, and then we woke up in this place, and we were separated. Hey, pretty boy, is this true? <laughs> Arc Arcturus is just like, well, I, you know, I, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. The usual was... things that Arcturus says, he just makes some rah noises and then nothing, nothing really poignant. <laughs> yeah, um, no, yeah, no, yeah no, there was no, at one time that uh, he and I did have drinks and uh, we got we got real wasted. It was gross. Anyway, I'm broke, like yeah. Gross. Gross. I can't, I can't gross. do his axes. <laughs> Arcturus basically. Uh, in Arcturus's voice says uh, I used to work with him at Black Sky or something he was one of the shapeshifters who could well they used him to sneak into places and shit what the hell are you doing You'd here? you sneak in as a giant fucking reptile thing he, uh, dinosaur I don't know he uh, he stands up and like you see like the blood like running down his leg has stopped. It's not like he's not bleeding anymore. And he turns around and you see like the last bit of the wounds in his legs sort of start to heal. And he just smiles and then he just explodes outwards. And you essentially are now looking at a cloud of locusts, like little buzzing locusts everywhere. Yeah. And they like swish around the room and then like come towards you at extreme speed. And like, just like entirely engulfs you, and then like you hear like this weird sound behind you, and you turn around, and he just reforms as like all these locusts like back together, and then like like a sheen comes over him, and he returns to looking like a normal naked human, okay. and then clothes, just just for comfort of everyone present, clothes just Led. miraculously appear on him. Lead is fucked up. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Who the fuck are you? Because this is like, this is screaming supernatural to Yeah, Jekyll. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and, he's... and he just loves <laughs> killing them. He's like, I think this guy is supernatural. <laughs> I think he might be a bit magic, everybody does. I know, I know you're a human now, but you know, only a moment ago you were a giant lizard. That The fact that you're a human now it's... doesn't take away the fact that you're a giant lizard who wanted to eat me. And what the hell is this place as well? And who the hell is this, uh... Vled? This, this Wed. Who is this Wed? Yeah. Vlad. He, he, looks at, Vlad. he looks at you curiously, and then as you say the name Vlad, his eyes widen, and he just says, Vlad, Vlad's coming back. Well, if he's even a real person, he's coming back, yes. I assume he's the boss man of this area? No, 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 no. You don't understand. No. Th this area is... This facility, it's owned by Black Sky. And he points to Arcturus and says, he used to be our employer. Black Sky, the... Well, actually, roll me, roll me an intelligence check just to see... Um, I'm going to say you both have reason to know uh, Black Sky. I'm going to say difficulty five for Jackal, difficulty four for Ulrich. Nope, no idea. Uh, hold on. Hold, oh, please. Uh, difficulty four? <laughs> please hold. Yeah. Uh, that is a zero success from yours truly. Cool. Yep. Um, so you've both heard of Black Sky, um, but as to what... you we know, that... it's a, We just think it's a weather pattern. Yeah, yeah no, no. You, <laughs> you'd know there is an organization called Black Sky, and they're a company that operate out of Olympia, but you've got no idea what they do, what, you know, what their business is in. Uh... And Arcturus uh, is just like, uh, well, hold on, like, wait, I explain. What, what do you, what do you mean? Like, you're gonna have to t tell, t tell us what's going on, Harry. And he's just like, look, I, I can't explain. I can't explain. If Vlad's coming back, we have to get all the information we can out of this place and get back to Olympia now, because they were only sending Vlad for one reason, and that's to shut this place down, and that includes everyone here. 
Is Vlad some kind of badass? You think? I was about to kill a fucking dinosaur. We can take him. <laughs> he looks at you and he's just like, I was about to be picking you out of my teeth. I scoff. <laughs> Good one. He, uh, I don't know, point like the holes in his body. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I don't it's, know it's, what it's the just, hell we're doing here. Do you know a way out? All I want is to get out of this hellhole. I, uh, he nods and then he looks over towards Arcturus, who's like coming over to you guys now. And he says, Look, I'll help you, but only if you do something in return. What is it, little man? And, uh, he, he realizes he's probably talking to the wrong person at this point and turns to Ulrich and says, you. I don't know who you are, but Olympia needs you. There's files. Uh, uh, there's a researcher. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. And he like uh, he like starts to panic and like uh, pats himself down. And he's just like, uh, you're looking for uh, the office of researcher Davis in sector two. All all the data banks. Either one will do. But you need to find everything you can points to Arcturus and he's like, get him to download them and then you need to get out of here. And uh, then he looks back at Jackal and says, as far as getting out of here goes, there's no transports left. But right. Vlad's got to arrive somehow. If he's bringing some sort of vehicle... Well, yes, yeah, he's bringing it. a truck. We know this. So we kill Vlad and we take his truck and go. The same plan that I had last episode. And then... <laughs> And there's you, as, as you're saying that, you hear like a the sound of what sounds like a like a slow whirring noise that's starting to build. Right. And uh, he turns and looks back towards the elevator, and he says, uh, "They're coming, but this won't be the only team they send. Drums. They'll come in through multiple inch <laughs> drums." <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he he says, "This won't be the only entrance they use. They'll they'll come through all the entrances and exits." They'll funnel you any way they can, and they'll hunt you down and kill you. Especially Vlad. He's a nasty bastard. Look, I'll hold this slot as far as I can, but... I'm no match for all of them. You're a T-Rex. He, uh, <laughs> he shakes his head and he says, You've got no idea what these people are capable of. They these no are the highest. what we're capable of. Very true. So, we set up some kind of... Block here. I'll be the okay. block. Okay, and then we shoot Vlad. We go up in the lift. We steal the car, and then we go. But which way do we yeah. go? Yeah, we don't even know how we got here. We'll think about that afterwards. He he nods and he says, "Siri, where are we?" <laughs> Calculating. <laughs> up towards his pocket, just bleeps like that. He says, "Uh, well." How are we gonna? What are we gonna do? Like, we kill I, I mean, I can. Yes, you gotta get but... to the. You, I need to get to where. Researcher what? Davis's office. He's in section two. Past observation. Section two of here. Okay, not section two of Olympia. Uh, down here. Oh yeah, one two. Okay. Hmm. And then. Yeah, that's that's all the places you guys have explored uh, thus far. But there are there's a lot more to the facility. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I say, uh, do you want me to stay here and fight, or shall I go with this one and get the important info you want? Uh, yeah. He says, look, keep them safe. Octurus especially. He's the one who's going to be able to download everything and. Well, he turns to Ulrich and just says, make sure you get it back. Get it back to Olympia and find the Free Olympia Society. They need to see this. And then there's like a, a whirring sound like that gets like it, it. Essentially, you hear the elevator start to arrive and uh, like the dust. Well, like, about time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start spread uh, and uh, he just smiles and says, uh, Good luck. And then in front of you essentially morphs uh, a wall between you and the elevator. He just explodes outwards and then 
into like a into like a plague of flies, and then they solidify into a wall with a door set in it, and he just uh, you just hear like a voice come from like that, and he just says, "They'll never see this one coming." Why? Why did he put a why did he, why did he morph a door in the middle of his wall? It's just whatever. All right. Anyway, and uh, oh, it's, it's in the middle of the corridor between you and the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's now a wall with a door. Cool. All right. So we go. Uh, thank you and I like slap the wall and then I'm like we gotta go we gotta go to Davis's office I think it's this way and I just follow down uh, section 2 uh, and I'm going to go where we haven't been so I guess I'm gonna go to observation yeah cool so um, first of all uh, roll, me a, roll me a speed check guys just to see how fast you're, you're, you're making progress um, difficulty it's gonna be difficult Three, uh, because at the moment things are pretty easy. Um, good, not 20 again, boys. Not 20. Bringing the crits out me. for the finale. Oh, hey, oh, beautiful. Okay, right. right, so it's this way, and like trip and like do a front flip over the uh, like the reception desk. <laughs> Whoop, that works say. perfectly for me, actually. <laughs> um, so as you both enter, um, sector two. Of this facility, you uh, with Arcturus in tow, you guys walk into the um, essentially through the the doorway that says like uh, you know sector two over it from the reception. And as you guys step inside, Jackal goes first, you know, clearing the area and everything like that. And um, like uh, just as like you walk into the lobby area, there's another werewolf that comes bounding down the corridor out of sector one, and Jackal just puts it down. It's it's just clinical bang uh takes this thing out or um spill or whatever you're oh wait you're using pistols aren't you yes yeah, oh, yeah, so you just like double tap this thing yeah. and it, it slumps to a heap and uh you you walk into sector two everything's fine and then as Ulrich crosses the threshold Ulrich, you start to feel sick incredibly sick so nauseous it's it's beyond belief and to the extent your legs give out your ears start ringing your vision blurs you start sweating profusely you start you feel like you might actually hurl and yeah. um jackal you notice that you remember in the last episode you walked into sort of the r d department and you found the that there yeah, are again the D department but they Indeed. Yeah, i know i know they had the r d it was several yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You were several letters too far in. Yeah. It, was, it was all a bit terrible. Embarrassing. Um, so you saw there was loads of these, uh, what looked like vents or... Yeah, there's these machines which I didn't know what yeah. they did. Yeah. One of them is mounted above you and is on. It's clicked on and there is some sort of, um, essentially like a... Oh, what's, I'm trying to think of, you know the heat effect where like air sort of wavers ever so slightly? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that sort of. Yeah. Yeah. That distortion is coming from that, and it is directly like pouring down on top of Ulrich, and Ulrich is now collapsed behind you in the fetal position, holding his face uh, and dribbling. The I shoot the, the, the. I shoot the machine. Electromag waves. <laughs> yeah, the electromag waves have got to. It, them. That's what it is. Yeah, you shoot this thing. Um, it takes like more than one hit. Yeah, but, uh, it's just shooting it until it stops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and Ulrich, you start to feel a lot better. Um, you know, everything's everything's good. Uh, and then you hear over over an announcement just saying, uh, Warning, quarantine breach. Chief of Security Vlad, please report to security station. And then it clicks off. And Auric, you feel you feel fine. You feel slightly hungover for a second, and then and then it clears. I, I you pick you up and I say, "Come, Vlad is on his way." Right. What was that? What was that? Vlad T Rex is about to be uh, no more. I think. T Rex. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time for terrible jokes. <laughs> Says Josh. Cool. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when I say that, you know. So yeah, you guys. Um, We've got to get to this professor, whatever his name is, and steal his. Dave. His bro yes, yes, professor, professor Dave. Dave. It is. <laughs> this is what he was doing before Solace. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's Dave. <laughs> Dave. <Dubby. Shut up. laughs> All right, David. Um, 
right, so yeah, you guys, um, you guys make your way. No, no, no. We we walk into the office and it says Professor Trevor on it, and we're like, <laughs> all along, <laughs> <laughs> we knew. You uh, yeah. You you enter. Um, you sort of go through observation and like. Is um, Arcturus with us or is he? Arcturus is Arcturus is with you. Arcturus is uh oh. doing doing okay. He's 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 pretty quiet today. He's sort of fussing over his new suit more than anything, so he's yeah. not that bothered about chatting to you guys. Um, Arcturus thinks. Indeed, yeah, he's doing Arcturus things. He's he's probably like quietly bitching about you guys and the smell and maybe like a little bit of blood spray from that werewolf got on him and he's like just oh, it's gonna stain. Um and yeah, you guys head into uh sort of observation and as you go past, um Auric, you see um that uh there appear to be like interrogation uh rooms that are yeah. on the other side of really long piece of uh glass and there's actually a bullet hole that's like um oh it's not come straight through but it's like yeah. cracked the glass uh and there's uh what looks like a dead body in there and this is obviously like you look through and there's like uh signs on the door which basically say like sector one interrogation and um and uh yeah it's it's pretty pretty nasty and you get down and there's four of them consecutively and then you get to the last one and the glass is entirely shattered for this one. And it looks like essentially something has, you, you'd be able to tell that something has broken through from sector one and has come into sector two. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So observation is to look into sector one. Yeah, essentially okay. like it's to look into the interrogation rooms uh, of okay. sector one. And then sort of, there's a corridor that leads off. Um, it actually splits up ahead into two different corridors. Um, and one is essentially like a biomedical uh, and it's got like a long list of uh, different like pressions and different specialists and everything like that, which are actually scrawled on the wall. I look for Davis. Uh, Davis, uh, Davis is there. Davis is apparently in lab 34. Great, I go to lab 34 and I try cool. my best yes. to find it. Do you want me to roll we a intel? To find yeah, roll me. Oh, roll me your intelligence. It's going to be difficulty free. Um, as I say, it's not, Good, it's not that hard. Succeed. Cool. Uh, Jackal, are you assisting in any way? Or are you sure, just... yeah. I, I, Jackal, I help me find uh, <laughs> lab 34. I can't make okay. heads and tails of this map. No. <laughs> no, I'm not on that one. Jackal. Jackal. Uh, My it's head hurts. <laughs> Jackal, so many numbers. <laughs> Jackal essentially is like, look, uh, I'll show you where we're going, and he marches you down a corridor, uh, like, very confidently, like, with a big stride and everything like that, yeah. and uh, he, he essentially finds Lab 43, um, and uh, the door is open, and uh, you you don't actually notice, like, uh, the, the, the placard on the door that says 43 until you've entered Ulrich, but Jackal's walked straight in. Until I've entered Ulrich. We're looking at 34, though, aren't we? Yeah, 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 but uh, he's not on that one. He's yeah. just like, he didn't oh. even, he wasn't even listening. He's yeah. Jackal. He was yeah. just like, yes, well, 40. Well, the right number is different order once in yeah. my <laughs> I'm not and, um, really wrong. There is, uh, yeah. there is essentially a, a bloodbath in here. There are chunks of bodies everywhere, and there is a very uh, large werewolf um, sort of sap on a pile of like shredded meat it's, a, it, it's horrific Hello? yeah it's <laughs> so and um in the room like there are like a couple of like smaller werewolves there's there's gonna be three of them and then this huge distinctly bigger more of a whiter tone sort of to his fur and uh they all sort of like turn sniff see you and growl is it a sexy growl or is it it's a <laughs> me. Me. Oh, okay. That's going to add in. Um, shit. <laughs> you still have that bag full of forks and knives in there? Oh yes. Maybe I need cutlery. <laughs> silver <laughs> for all the meat. Indeed. Uh, it is silver. Yeah. 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 Well, you I do have still... some silvered silver bullets. Silver. Yeah, you have yeah. silvered ammunition, and you That's have the right. capacity to essentially you carry. Uh, Liquid, uh, liquidated silver in like a compound that you can apply to your ammunition. Uh, um, I'm gonna take the only cipher that I have. 
and use it. Cool. I don't know what it is. Oh, cool. I just have syringe. Well, well. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, right. So, roll me an initiative, guys. <laughs> as you guys uh, stumble into a room, uh, I'm going to say Jackal because you're on that one. Uh, it's going to be difficulty four, uh, and Ulrich is going to be difficulty three because you're not in the room as of yet. Sick. Oh my god, I suck. That's two. <laughs> we both do today. Yeah, they go first. As it should be. So yeah, um, zero success, and so does Will. That's the the alpha. Uh, growls like towards you and out of nowhere it's it's that classic uh, Jurassic Park Jurassic Park moment where you're like pointing the gun and then you hear like a slight growl and essentially there's a wolf has managed to sort of pad its way across like one of the counters with like uh, some chest tubes hasn't knocked any over and is now like almost next to you and it's just, I imagine Jack was just like ah clever girl and then she just jumps at you um you're gonna take a uh, speed defense difficulty four as you are pounced on by this uh, half wolf, half werewolf, half hybrid, strange. So I'm just gonna continue stacking. God damn. Ten. Cool. It's all great. Um, We're in that twenties earlier. Indeed. <sighs> you're gonna take you're gonna take four might damage from that. Uh, as this thing savages you, it like pounces into you. Uh, you get a claw that like slices uh, across your face, and it's going to give you like a like immediately. Ulrich, you look at that and you're like, that's going to be a cool scar. If he makes it, it's going to be another cool scar. Yeah. Cool. Um, and yeah, it like slices across your face and uh, luckily misses your eye, but it it also just makes a nice incision for your nose. And this thing falls between you and the door. Uh, but is now like essentially at the feet of Ulrich, taking it finally enough to Ulrich's, Ulrich's go. Weird. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot it with my crossbow. Uh, if it's right in front cool. of me. We do need uh, that yeah, crits out uh, in at some point. <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> just, just me with two like D20s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I will not sleep tonight. One, 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 is, a, one is a one, the other one's a twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <Both> 17s. <laughs> yeah. Um, what difficulty? Sorry. 